Welcome to Going to Blue today, everybody. Home of the college football fan. And don't forget about the checklist. Hat check, sunglasses check, Pepsi check, notes check, sources check, and thick skin is a check. And don't forget the same gear to represent your team and yourself in my background. Send it to P.O. Box 360, Liberty, South Carolina, 29657, and get yourself a shout out. On to the next video. In case you're wondering, these are the teams that we don't have represented for the mini helmets. As you can see, we actually have quite a few big brands that's not represented here at Golden Blue Dude. I do know that Nevada and Cincinnati are on their way as far as mini helmet representation. So get your team represented here on Golden Blue Dude. We're about to hit 13,000 subscribers. Guys, I just... Decided to do a quick video on the way home from the Slob Olympics. No, I was not able to go back to back, but I did come in seventh place. Uh, a little, very, well, not a little sore, but very, very sore. Congratulations to Uncle Lou. Yeah, that's right. Uncle Lou wins the Slob Olympics. So congratulations to him. But the West Virginia Mountaineers are going dancing. We went on the road and beat Iowa State this past week. And then today, West Virginia takes care of business against Kansas State in no matter what we do in the Big 12 Championship Tournament, West Virginia will be going to the Big Dance. This was a big-time win. If West Virginia plays as hard as, as what they did today, West Virginia will go deep in the NCAA Tournament. The problem is that they have an on-switch and they have an off-switch. I don't understand it. I really, really don't. And you can see in the post-game press conferences that Bob Huggins feels the same thing. He's like, I, I, I don't know what else to do, guys. Uh, when, whenever they don't play uh, up to their potential, I don't know what to do. And a lot of people are like, well, well that Foslin coach, he's supposed to get them up for every game. I understand that, but he, th these guys are, are, are different. They're different. We have great shooters. Defense, not great. But the days that we show up, man, we're, we're one of the toughest teams to beat in the entire nation. But on the days that we don't show up, it, it's like we're a different team. I don't understand it. Uh, and Bob Huggins claims that, that the team is prepared every single game. But you literally see from one game to another that they, they they take the game off. I don't know how else to explain it. I really don't. But these past two games, you can see they were not taking these games off. They, they knew it was serious. We have to win these last two games. Otherwise, we're not getting to the big dance. And what do we do? We win them. And we look good while doing it. I, I just don't get it. it it's like... Uh, they don't think some games are important, but other games are. Every game is important. I, I, I know it's not college football where, where the season is only 12 games long, but every game is important. It matters, you know, where your seeing is when it comes to the big dance. It matters how many wins you have at the end of the season. So I, I, I never understood why they take games off, but it is a fact. Judging from what I've seen the past two games, West Virginia has been taking games off. Are you freaking kidding me? So now, no more excuses, guys. We're in the big dance. We can do some damage. If you play to your potential, if you play your hardest like you did today, like you did today against a very good Kansas State, a really good Kansas State, West Virginia is a sweet, West Virginia is a sweet 16 team. But if you decide to be lazy and take the game off, then we could be a one and done. So don't forget to stay tuned and locked in to Golden Blue to next Sunday, Selection Sunday. We will be live whenever the big dance the brackets are released so that's going to be one of our biggest live shows of the entire year so make sure you tune into that wasn't able to do it last time because of the the dates of the slob olympics this year it was a week before so i will be able to go live two years ago when our channel only had 1,000 subscribers we got up to like i think it was 400 watching at one time and that's with only a thousand subscribers this year we have over 13,000 subscribers so i think and I know it's a lofty goal. It is. But I think if we do this right, Golden Blue Dude can get up to, uh, I'd say, around 1,000 viewers watching at any given time. Let's do this. It's official. West Virginia is going dancing. Even if they don't win one game in the Big 12 Championship Tournament, we're going dancing. We're going to the Big Dance. And join me live next week on Sunday for Selection Sunday. I think it's 3 p.m. for whenever the brackets are going to be released live. It's going to be a great live show, guys, so come on by. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.